Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and of course one of the things that um, some of you have been asking me and we, we talk from time to time about the future of Windows and Windows 10X and all of that um, you know uh, one of the questions I get regularly is do you think Windows 10X could ever replace Windows 10 and my answer to that is I don't think so and I think it will be simply if if Windows 10 X gets popular enough, it will be probably something that will be side to side with the Windows 10 operating system for a very simple reason. The way the Windows 10 operating system is done and is mostly enterprise, it has to stay in that uh, side of things. It has to stay like it is in order for the enterprise to still continue using it the way that in general businesses need it. Um, Windows 10 X is far from you know, like right now being <laughs> something that could be successful because of the way they're going to actually do it first, which I think is a bad idea. Um, you know, I got a few people saying, well, you know, you just don't give a chance and you just don't, you know, you're always already negative. It's not being negative. It's uh, just obs observations of the past, how Windows 10s and how uh, you know there was uh, different versions of Windows that were basically never took off and never did one, they weren't really important, and and there were basic reasons for it, you know, um, because if you can't run regular apps, it was not uh, something that's gonna take off because people want to run their favorite software. Windows 10 X is not going to have Win32 capabilities or containers at first when it's released next year. It should be implemented from the start. Why add it a year later like they want? I don't understand that. Um, it's probably because they're having a hard time creating that new Windows 10 X and they're kind of super late at what they want to do. Uh, having it for low-end devices, I don't know. It, you know, it's not something that I find super logical, honestly, uh, about Windows in general. The other question uh, I haven't talked about it in a long time, and a lot of you've been asking me uh, in the past couple of weeks. So you're talking at one point that the control panel could be something that, you know, is going away or uh, any new. Uh, new, any news about this anything new or you know well it's all very quiet but one of the things we're noticing is that nothing much if at all has changed in the control panel I actually compared the control panel here with the control panel in my dev channel which is the most advanced version of Windows basically that that we have that is testing the future there's no differences here I am starting to think that the ideas behind trying to hide or change some of the control panel items has maybe not been uh, continued or is not a priority right now. Because there are some new settings. I mean, the settings app in um, the dev channel build right now is tested a little bit with some new settings. Like, you know, there's some new sound settings. There's some new settings for uh, the internet uh, connectivity with DNS. They are tweaking and changing a few settings here and there, but they aren't changing anything on the control panel side of things. So uh, the only you know change that probably happens is the settings send you back and forth into the different options depending on what you do. So if one option is now in the settings panel, it takes you to the settings panel from the control panel. And the other way around, if a setting is in a control panel, well, the settings panel will open the control panel. But there's really no change there. So for those of you that you know are worried about the uh, disappearance of the control panel, I think that uh, that is uh, a, a long way off if, if ever it is going to disappear. I think there's too many settings and too many things in there that the control panel will be a side-by-side a -side thing with the settings panel. Um, which is weird, you know, it's like two having two control panels, but, uh, you know, Microsoft is weird, 
weird so often in so many things. So it's uh, interesting. Um, I've noticed that, you know, honestly, personally, most of all the settings that I need are almost always in the settings, which means they kind of, you know, made the settings panel with all the major settings that you need pretty much here. So there's not a lot that I need to do and go to the control panel uh, in general. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.